there's a speckled wood butterfly here but there are holly blue butterflies flying all around me and uh, that's lovely they're real well holly blues can be found at all times of year but I always associate them with the spring and uh, they're hard to get near any other time of the year but they're very handsome I want to see if we can get some now here's our little speckled wood which is always becomes probably the most common butterfly of the year has beautiful spots on its wings at this one is just sheltering oh there it goes a bumblebee scared it up there's all sorts of beautiful hoverflies as well look at that one and there's the speckled wood again flying around I'm trying to pick somewhere to bask but it might be laying eggs but I don't think they lay eggs on these uh, winter heliotropes I could be wrong another handsome hoverfly now that's a surface olive hoverfly they're the kind of the, the classic hoverfly they all love these broad leaves to bask on lots of insects basking there's a green shield bug again and actually here's something interesting two mating pair of green shield bugs when you're that well camouflaged you can take those kind of risks I'm not going to disturb them anymore though both all in this little patch here of winter heliotrope uh, winter heliotrope flower, uh, flowers in the winter has a beautiful aniseed scent but the leaves go all during the year they're um uh, what would they call them i don't i don't think they're an invasive some people might consider them that they're more of a naturalized plant and they're really only found on the east coast of ireland they're uh, they're lovely and lots of insects love them for uh, sunbathing on in particular but also I'm sure they're eating them to, you can be sure that the green shield bugs are, are eating or sucking the sap out with their straw like beaks and this is a peacock butterfly which is by far the most beautiful probably the most beautiful butterfly of all that we have although of course tastes differ but this is a very fresh one I actually think this must have just hatched out I don't think it was a hibernating one I could be wrong look at those incredible eye spots and he's feeding on dandelion uh, this is a small white butterfly not a green veined white believe it or not a small white Green veined white is similar, but the small white is a sort of greenish sheen underneath, but it doesn't have those bright green veins. This one's feeding on Vinca. So, that's only a moment ago I saw a red admiral, and it must be one that came out of hibernation, it was a bit scruffy. And so, this has to be a fresh small white because they don't hibernate, they do spend the winter in a chrysalis. Beautiful. And so this is a holly blue at rest. It's a lovely butterfly. Very hard to catch in flight though. Moves very quickly. They like to bask. They often fold their wings over their backs like that. Kind of moth like in some ways. If a car comes along now he'll just fly up and away. They actually lay their eggs on ivy, so it should really be the ivy blue. But they do lay eggs on holly too. Holly blue sounds nicer, I suppose. Seems to be actually eating something. Could be wrong now. 
Looks like it's feeding on something. Oh, here comes the car. There goes the butterfly. And here's another holly blue. And in size wise, it's just a bit bigger than a thumbnail. Especially when, well, I mean, when its wings are folded up. Not a very big butterfly. Actually, it's about the same size as a thumbnail. It's smaller even, not as wide. There we go, and another car coming, and that'll be the end of that, I'd say. Hello. Hey, stay quiet that time. That's great.